It's Poppy O'Hare. Twin sister to Holly O'Hare and daughter of Rapunzel. And it's her first day at Ever After High. She doesn't have a legacy. Holly got the Rapunzel legacy because she's older by a hair. You always get to say the interesting part. Have you decided on your classes? I'm sorry, but no. On one hand, Magicology sounds like a blast, literally. But hero training sounds excellent, too. Who wouldn't want to spar with a dragon? Well, Poppy, you must choose today. Classes start tomorrow. How'd it go with Baba Yaga? I kind of got thrown for a loop. She said I had to choose a destiny by the end of the day. Maybe it'll help if you ask everyone what they love about their sides of the story. Thanks, Holly. You're fabulous. Being a royal isn't easy. You have to work hard to keep your kingdom happy. But you do get to date princes and live in enchanting castles. Of course, you may have to eat a poison apple to get there. If you're a rebel, you don't have to be bad or dislike beanstalks or the people who climb them. Well, if you're a royal, you live every day to its fullest. <laughs> But isn't it more important to be who you want and not hide who you really are? Totally wicked point. Who did your highlights? Um, my mom, uh, gotta go. So, have you made your choice? Well, I've decided. I'm not gonna decide on a side. <gasps> Wait a spell, you must choose something. After talking with everyone, it's clear. Being a rebel or a royal is totally exciting. So I'm going to flip the script and choose both sides. Yeah! I like your style. I've been trying to decide my best side, and I choose both, too. <laughs> So yesterday, in Princessology, Apple recited the girl's royal headwear line from birth tiara to coronation crown from memory. Holly, that is so fabulous. Hey, little sis, see after school at the Tower Hair Salon? Uh-huh. Love you, big sis. Oh, hey, Nanny Nona. Holly? No, I'm Poppy, the younger twin. Oh, that's right, dear. I've, I've got some... Uh, News. What is it? You know how your sister is older by three seconds? Well, I made a teeny tiny mistake. Actually, it's you. I don't want to be the next Rapunzel. I'm trying to find my own destiny. And being the next Rapunzel means everything to Holly. How am I going to tell her? And so then I told Apple, look, I know your story better than anyone ever after. And it was a red delicious apple that... Something on your mind? I, uh... Hey! Check out my new hair dryer! So then, in hero class, Daring scaled the tower just like in his story! <laughs> okay, I am totally getting a twin vibe that you are not telling me something. What is it? Okay, well, you know when you know something, but... Guess we can't talk now! What? Okay, that's it. Tell me what's going on. Nanny Nana mixed up our birth certificates. And you're the younger twin. What? But that means that I'm supposed to be the next Rapunzel, not you. But I liked being the next Rapunzel. And I liked being something else. Wait, does anyone else know about this? No. Then what do you say we just keep it as our secret? That way we can both have the destinies we want. I love it. Thanks. I'm just trying to let my hair down. <laughs> Hurry! The blossoms at Bloom are headed for doom! Translation, there is definitely something wrong. <gasps> what happened to Wonderland Grove? It's usually so wonderish. This part of the enchanted forest? is our link to Wonderland. And it's the source of all magical madness in our world! So if the Grove is losing its magical madness, are you saying our world will lose its magic too? Whatever after is all about magic. So what do we do? Madden up, people! We need to recharge the Grove by holding an honest-to-madness Wonderland tea party! Time to get our madness on! <laughs> Fantastic! New outfits for everyone! Check my madness meter. Not enough. We better.
better get our dance on! You guys! You have to dance Wonderland style! So good at letting loose. Wait a spell. I've got an idea. Raven? No way. Come on, Cerise. Trust me. <sighs> you put on fake silly wolf ears for the tea party? Now that is madness. Hey, look. We did it. <laughs> Come on, Sparrow. Give me a real challenge. I'm betting you can't get a date with the next girl that walks through that door. Oh, you are on. What are we betting? How about loser has to wash the winner's gymnastics uniform after swamp swimming? Ooh. Done. Lizzie Hart? Good luck with that one. Oh! The usual, my good barista, and the same for the lady. Off with the phone! Would these flowers change your mind? I grew them using the light from my teeth. Ah! I got this. <laughs> Check it out. I painted this just now. Am I charming or what? No. You're not. Well, actually, I am charming. You know, because it's my last name. Oh, Lizzie! What? I thought that you might enjoy a tour of the castle. On Dragonback? What? <laughs> you gotta admit that that was pretty spectacular. Is something wrong? I would go out with you, but I've never been on a date before. Well, all those things that we did today, that was pretty much a date. But that was quite lovely. Maybe you'd like to do it again sometime. Can we keep this a secret? Future Queen of Hearts, I've kind of got a crazy rap going. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, I, w I won't tell anyone. Yes, that's right! Scrub it good for Sparrowhood! Yeah! Mm. You're right. I'm gonna sign up for a class I never would have taken before. Princessology! What? I mean, I am a princess, technically. You can't take princessology. It's not right! I mean, how would you feel if I signed up for your favorite class? Home Evil Nomics! Ms. White, take a seat. I was just giving out our first assignment. I'd like each of you to go into the enchanted forest. Find an animal. That'll be easy, Madam Yaga. Animals love me. And turn it evil. Oh. <laughs> what exactly about this animal is supposed to be evil? Well, it's eating that carrot awfully fast. Which will give it a really evil tummy ache. Try again. I'm so mean. Cower before my meanness. That's just a mask you made with a picture of me. I will give you one last chance to turn that animal evil. <laughs> or else you'll fail. <laughs> Whatever am I going to do? I have to turn you evil, her raven. <gasps> yes! Just casting a really evil spell here. Pretty evil, huh? 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 Fine, you pass. With a D. Minus, minus. Yay! Well, Raven.
Raven. I passed my first home evilnomics project. How's Princessology going? Oh, I dropped that class like 15 minutes in. I couldn't take all the smiling practice. Made my cheeks hurt. But that's not fair. Now we have to grow evil plans for glass, and mine just keeps... Yeah. Oh, keep your pedals on! Another morning at Ever After High, as the students are getting fairest for another typical day. Typical? There's nothing typical about this day. <laughs> Is there anything more perfectly charming than my birthday? Um, my birthday? You're such a kidder. I mean, does the entire school celebrate your birthday with a royal cake baking contest? It's not just the royals in the baking contest this year. I'm gonna make you the most excellent apple crumb cake. <laughs> you mean poison apple crumb cake. You wouldn't be the daughter of the evil queen if you didn't try to poison me. Don't you remember Legacy Day? I'm writing my own destiny now. And my cake is just gonna have sugar and cinnamon and a little bit of love. Can you believe it? Raven isn't going to try to poison me. <sighs> I need an herbal potion soak. I wish there was something we could do. Yeah, but it's not like you can make Raven poison her. <gasps> Great idea, Ash. I'll pour a little creature concoction into Raven's cake, and Apple will think Raven tried to poison her. We could just get her some cute shoes or something. Oh, daring. A cake with a picture of you on it. <laughs> How charming. And now we have Raven's cake. Taste it. Um, Apple, have you forgotten? I'm your official taster. I have to make sure these cakes are just right. Oh, wow. It's so moist ah! and tender. Ah! What? Apple, I swear... You did try to poison me. Hey, I I'm the one who... Uh, I mean, yes. Way to go, Raven, you bad, evil girl. <laughs> Briar. Um, I... Gotta fly. Aw, why can't I be a phoenix, too? <laughs> oh, well. See ya. Gotta go. Yep, uh, here I go. <laughs> can't answer any questions. Nope. <laughs> I am out of here. Hey, this salad totally reminds me. We're having a sale at the Glass Slipper. How does salad remind you of... You're cute. So who wants to go shopping after school? Sure. I'm in. Oh, uh, I can't, because I entered the Royals beauty pageant, but I didn't want to tell you guys because they thought you'd think it's silly, but I love celebrating being awesome, empowered girls. <laughs> oh, it's not silly, Cedar. I say go for it. Bigger smile, Ms. White. Bigger, Ms. Beauty. Cheshire big, Ms. Wood. My cheeks are hurting. Beauty is not always pretty. Oh, these shoes are so uncomfortable. How are we supposed to walk in them? Huh? Whoa! Gracefully, my dear. For the debate portion of the pageant, the topic will be, why is looking good more important than, well, anything? Well, yeah, wait just a splinter. I thought this pageant was about what it means to be a beautiful girl. Not painful shoes, not silly smiles, real stuff. Like being smart and graceful and, oh! <laughs> and, and the beauty inside of us. She's right. Apple, I'm... Well, I'm sorry for what I said at the rehearsal. Why? You told the truth. You made me realize the pageant doesn't celebrate what being beautiful is really all about. So what can we do? We reinvent the contest. You mean, like, change the debate? Make it about being awesome, empowered girls? Isn't that where real beauty comes from? True beauty means living every day at our best and never forgetting that each of us is special in our own enchanting way. That was beautiful. Does our judge have a winner? I've thought long and hard, and now choose me. <laughs> the mirror net! It's down! I, I can't update my My Chapter page. I can't share the cute shoes I found online. I can't tell everyone about the excellent new band playing at the Red Shoes Dance Club tonight. Or you could do those things by talking to each other. Except that Professor Rumpelstiltskin's online-only test is due by sunset today. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's panic. It looks like someone's hogging all the bandwidth. We need to find out who. 
Humphrey, you stay here and sort out these cables while we search the school. Sure. Leave it to Humphrey Dumpty to put it all back together again. 933, 934... Daring, are you using the mirror net? I sure am. I'm uploading a couple thousand high-res pics from my new photo shoot. Oh, that was rude. Melody, are you downloading any large files from the mirror net? Just every recorded remix of... Hey! That is so not just right. The mirror net is still slow as a troll. And we only have another two hours to take our online test. There's only one thing to do. Go to the heart of the mirror net. Now we're going to find out what's been actually... Oh. Professor Rumpelstiltskin. You're the one who's been slowing down the mirror net? But, but why? Let me guess. So you could fail us, give us detention... And make you spin my straw into gold! That's not gonna happen now that we know your little secret. A tale I'm guessing the headmaster would love to be told. <gasps> what do you say? You cancel the test and give us a little more time to study. Oh, yeah, fine! And I think it's only fairest that he fixes what he broke. Ow! Oh! Oh, don't go to pieces on us, Professor. Raven Queen, what evil act are you going to perform for this year's talent show? No, 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 Miss Queen. This music is too nice. If you will not give a performance suitable to a student of your destiny... Since my story didn't exactly go poof, I think it's safe to change it up. <laughs> do something, you know, not evil? Nevertheless, Sparrow Hood has already signed up to play the guitar. Sparrow's gonna show you a big time! Ow! But I've been practicing my guitar solo for a month! Practice is for losers! Oh! Oh, bring it on like fairy song! Oh, I mean... That's more evil! <laughs> Maybe we could tone down the, you know, wonder. Aren't you just the cutest little... <laughs> we better get to work. If you guys say so. Oh. Welcome to the Wonderland Haberdashery and Tea Shop. I have to say, Maddie, this is not exactly what I expected. Well, this is it. My family's tea shop. No wonder our madness here. What can I get you? Hmm. Um, I think I'll have the charmed chai tea and a Wonderland nut bar. Can I get a refill? Sure. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Floating tea kettle? Yes, it is! And there's so much more madness and wonder to discover here! These clocks all keep the wrong time, and those doors transport you to new and wonderific places. 
this is the real Wonderland haberdashery and tea shop. And I don't care if we get a bad review, because to me, this place is fantastic! Huh. At first, the Wonderland haberdashery and tea shop seemed boring. But then, they let loose the madness, and it became ever after awesome! This tea shop is just right! Yeah! yeah. Aren't you adorable? No way! <laughs> and so, your project is to trace your family tree. But remember, your research must be rooted in fact. Who would exaggerate their fairy tale just so they could say they have royal roots, right? Uh, right? Blondie, time to turn in our family tree projects. Oh, uh, I'm not feeling just right. Really? You were fine like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, I'm sick, okay? Uh, I mean, have fun without me. <laughs> Blondie, are you pretending to be sick so you don't have to do your family tree project? No, that's oh, just right. Cupid, my family is only ugh, distantly royal. So, oh, what if I'm just choosing the destiny I want? Wouldn't that mean that I'm, I'm actually a rebel? Blondie, royals make choices too. They choose to follow tradition and honor their stories. If you know in your heart that you're a royal, then you need to tell the world. I, uh, traced my Uncle Elmer back to this branch of the family. And, um, so, even though we share the same name, we are not related to the Charmings of Nottingham Forest. Or the Charmings of Never After. Or even the Charmings who came over on the Charm Flower. Who knew there were so many unrelated Charmings in the fairy tale world? my mother was captured by the bears, she vowed to be a good girl and was sent to live on a magical cul-de-sac where a long line of locks are from. There she was declared queen of her community, just like her mom before her and her mom before her. As you would say, that royal story is just right. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different